Oh, hi. Are we filming? Oh, hey. Welcome to the Giggle Box. How's it going? Hi, Bryson. <laughs> My beard is very staticky today, but there's nothing I can do about that. Today on the show, we're going to be opening up Series 2 Batman the Movie minifigures. These are a continuation of the other figures. There were 20 in the last set, and there's 20 in this set. I got seven. Usually when I go and get minifigures, I pick up my favorites first, just to make sure I get them. And then I go back and get the other ones here and there. I don't know, it's just something I do. Let's start with this one, and then we'll take a look at the little booklet, and you can see all the different characters that they have. There's 20 to collect. They don't have all the names written on them. And some of them I don't know. Like, I don't know who this guy is. Wasp man? Bug dude? Bug head? I don't know. Some of them I don't know. Okay, so these are all the characters that they have. Some of them very cool, some, hmm, like I don't know if I, like Batman is a merman. <laughs> he was not even a merman in the movie, was he? I don't think so. <laughs> so I don't know where that came from. Uh, let's see, here's another one, him in the uh, with a dolphin. So I'm guessing he really likes swimming because he seems to be in bathing suits a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who this is. Taylor Swift? Who's that supposed to be? <laughs> I don't know who that is. So yes, I don't know who some of these characters are. And I'm okay with that. If you know who they are, comment down below. Let me know. <laughs> this one right here makes me laugh. This is the Time King. I'm not sure what he does. Does he travel through time? Does he alter time in some way? I'm guessing. Else why would you be called that? I'm the Time King because I like to tell time. Uh, <laughs> hey, dude, you know what time it is? <laughs> why, yes, I do. It's uh, 108. <laughs> All right, thanks. <laughs> yeah, I don't really know. I don't really know what this guy's power is. <laughs> if you know, teach me. I love learning new things. Time Man, Time King. As far as his look goes, he is covered in clocks, which is very cool. The fact that they actually printed clocks on his arms and all around his legs, that's really cool. He doesn't have any on his back, but that's fine because the cape covers his back anyway. But he's very cool. And I like him just because I like time travel. Back to the future. Time King, number one. He's a timer, a stopwatch, and a clock all in one person. <laughs> hey, do you know how fast I was? <laughs> Why, yes, I do. <laughs> you crossed the finish line in just 5 minutes, 38 seconds. Oh, thanks. <laughs> He's very cool. I like him. Oh, yes. Here we have the Joker in his beach outfit. He's really cool. He's got a double-sided or double-printed Hawaiian shirt on. Can't really see it in the front because he's got that duck in front of him. Which is funny because even the duck looks painted like the Joker. Which is good though. That's appropriate. So he's got printing on the back. And he's also got his arms printed. They really put a lot of detail into these minifigures. I like that. I like him, and he goes along with his friend, or I guess they're kind of friends, right? Because he gets sad. He gets sad when Batman's like, you're nothing. He says, you're nothing. You're not my greatest enemy. I can't remember it exactly. But he gets kind of sad. He gets that sad face, like, <laughs> which is very funny. <laughs> the Joker gets all sad. He gets his feelings hurt. <laughs> Here he's now at the pool with his buddy. 
Batman. <laughs> they both have the floaties. <laughs> he came in Series 1. I don't know if you were able to get Series 1. I don't think it's available anymore. It might be. Like, I see these at Target a lot. But, yeah, these go well together. They both have their swim floaties. Except he didn't come with flippers. Batman came with flippers. But I guess instead he comes with his camera and a lollipop. He gets like a popsicle. And it looks like he's wearing flip-flops. Oh, he is wearing flip-flops. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> We've got King Man, or uh, Time King. King Man. <laughs> I am King Man. <laughs> the Joker. Oh, and I'm just noticing this. That's cool. The base plates are printed with the Batman symbol. Okay, moving right along. Whoopsie. I don't think this is Batgirl. She's part of the Batman fan club. <laughs> is it Catwoman? Catwoman dressed up as Batman? I don't know. Who is this? Comment down below. <laughs> Catwoman dressed up as Batman. <laughs> when I originally got her, when I was feeling through the packages to find this one, I thought this was Batgirl. But maybe it's not. I could be wrong. But it says Batman Fan Club on her shirt, on her hoodie. And then she's got the Batman symbol on her hoodie on the top. And it says Batman on her leg. Number one Bat fan. <laughs> So maybe this is just a regular girl who's a Bat fan. Maybe it's Catwoman. Maybe it's Batwoman. I don't know. Who is this? Maybe it's Mary Jane. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I had enough of the Green Goblin. I'm just going to go over to Gotham. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? <laughs> you cheating on me? <laughs> <laughs> Why does he have a bunny on his plate? <laughs> he like decided to house a bunny after she broke up with him. <laughs> I don't know why he has a bunny there. <laughs> Spider-Man just likes bunnies, all right? <laughs> see. Oh, look, we forgot this. Wow. I would have thrown this package away. Time Man over here. Time King? He comes with these spears, but I'm thinking the spears are supposed to be the hands on the clock. You know, like he's holding them this way. It's three o'clock. Or what would that be? More like two o'clock? It's two o'clock. It's... Yeah, one o'clock. <laughs> it's time for lunch. <laughs> I can't go hunt. I can't go hunt Batman right now. I gotta go make me a sandwich. <laughs> oh, we forgot. <laughs> I'm like missing all kinds of parts here. She comes with a belt. Yeah, that one's empty. Okay, here we've got... Vacation Robin with his Hawaiian shirt. Let's get that out. The booklet. His pants. A radio. <laughs> Boombox. And some ice cream. Yeah, ice cream. And that's it. Okay. I guess he likes vanilla. He has a single-sided face that looks just like that. <laughs> He's got the double-sided printing on his Hawaiian shirt that's got little ducks on it. Ducks? Looks like ducks. A little R on his shorts. And then you add, of course, his goggle eyes, <laughs> which really makes him Robin. <laughs> <laughs> I really like this character just because of how funny he looks. The eyes really make this character. Okay, and then he comes with his boom box. 
his ice cream cone. Three left. This one is, ooh, I like this one. When I was at the Lego store, um, and it kind of made me feel bad. <laughs> there was this little kid, probably like uh, six or seven, little kid there with his grandma, and <laughs> the grandmother seemed very grouchy, very, I don't know if she was having a bad day or if she was just a grouchy grandma, <laughs> but she was there and she was like, all right, Timmy, pick something out so we can go already. Okay, um, can I have this? No, it's too much. And I think it was like a tiny little set, like $10. <laughs> and he was, can I have this? No. And he walked over to the keychains in the Lego store. And I thought for sure, because of the previous statement the grandmother made about you can't have that $10 set, it's too expensive. That he could for sure have a keychain. <laughs> He's like, can I get this keychain? She's like, what are you gonna do with it? Well, I'll hook it to my backpack. No. <laughs> and then she said, you're not supposed to take toys to school. <laughs> I'm like, I really felt bad for the kid. <laughs> I mean, okay, she has a point. You're not supposed to take toys to school and play in school and be distracted. But if it's on your backpack, and I know a lot of kids put stuff on their backpack, on the little, you know, the, the zipper pulls, they have little, little trinkets and stuff hanging on there. They're not there to play with, they're just there to make your backpack look cool. <laughs> but this grandma was not having it. No, you will not. <laughs> and so, <laughs> after all of that, I felt really bad for this kid. <laughs> the kid walked over to the minifigures, and he was there like feeling through them. And then he asked Rick, he's one of the employees there, he asked Rick if uh, he could help him find certain characters. <laughs> and then he's not on here. He had the box there. The Lego box was there. It has all the characters on the outside. And then he says, can you help me find this one? General Zod. Can you help me find Zod? And he's like, yeah, sure. And the grandmother sees this and she's like, you want that guy? He's boring. <laughs> Don't get him. <laughs> and he's like, what? I really like Zod. She's like, no, that guy's boring. Pick one who's more interesting. <laughs> I was just... <laughs> It was funny, but at the same time, it was kind of sad and depressing. <laughs> Where was I going with this? <laughs> oh, because it was Zod. It was Zod in the package here. Yeah, so I got Zod. I'm, I'm feeling bad for Timmy. He didn't get Zod. He comes with a cool little newspaper. Kneel before Zod in polls. <laughs> what does it say? Let's see. Microscopic vision. Candidate Neil... Candidate Neil wins on platform. Will not enslave humanity. <laughs> Candidate Neil wins on platform. Will not enslave humanity. I always liked Zod. Very cool villain. <laughs> he was always so calm in the movie. Like, not one of those villains that's like... <laughs> he was always just... So calm. Let's go. Let's go destroy Superman. Here we have here we have <laughs> here we have it's always the third one. <laughs> Before I put the body armor on, let's take a look at him without it. Here is Jarrell without the body armor because it would hide the Superman logo that's on his chest. That's very cool though. And he comes with crystal. Hold. Firmly grasp it. Firmly grasp it. 
Jarrell. All his printing is on the front. He doesn't get any arm printing. I think that's probably because he's got these ginormous shoulder pads. <laughs> and since he can't grasp the crystal, we'll just attach it to his back. It's more like a rocket launcher. <laughs> Last one. Who could it be? Who is he? Oh, but he's not. <laughs> this is gonna turn into Lord Garmadon. I didn't get the character I was hoping to get. I really wanted this guy. Dr. Phosphorus. I was feeling for these flames. And obviously I felt wrong and thought these lightning bolts were the flames. If you know who this is, comment down below, let me know. He's got printing on the back. Very cool. And he comes with his helmet, which is also <laughs> very cool. <laughs> That's cool. I like him, though. And like I said, I'm eventually going to try and get them all anyway, so it doesn't matter. I just hope it doesn't turn into a Garmadon event. <laughs> and he comes with these lightning bolts. Very cool character. I like him. I'm assuming from the just the helmet and everything that maybe he's like a fast runner <laughs> or he deals lightning. Maybe he's lightning man. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> you always revert to that music. <laughs> Oh, careful there. Very cool characters. I really like all of them. This has been the Giggle Box. If you liked it, like it. And I will see you in the next episode. You can watch one of these episodes right here. Or you can subscribe. If you want to watch more <laughs> and we'll see you in the next video dun, 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 dun,